I think it's time to start taking a good look at American soccer's leadership. Uh, number one, our current U.S. Soccer Federation is the leadership inside of that doing a good enough job. Uh, and then at a macro level above that is our federation as a whole, the way it's set up, the way it's operated, its relationships and the way it governs. Is it the right um, governing body for American soccer moving forward? Uh, so we can ask, ask this question because um, the ace card in the whole movement for American soccer progress and promotion relegation is FIFA's jurisdiction over uh, all soccer nations. Um, you don't have to be a part of FIFA as a soccer nation, but uh, you probably want to be. Uh, and so it's understandable that uh, if FIFA comes in and, and says do this or do that to any nation, they will align because they don't want to risk losing their FIFA status or sanctioning. And so we have a U.S. Soccer Federation and leadership inside of it that um, has the chance to do the right thing, to align with FIFA sanctioning or FIFA mandates of an open merit-based domestic soccer ecosystem where all people in clubs have a fair chance in the soccer industry. Uh, and there's really nothing stopping our federation from doing the right thing. Uh, in our country for soccer, there is no higher power. Yes, FIFA is over them internationally, but they, uh, the buck stops with them as far as decisions for market industry policy uh, for American soccer. So what they say goes, and what I've said many times is, uh, the first step in moving towards a equal and fair U.S. soccer ecosystem is for our governing federation to just make the declaration, to sign the dotted line, and to uh, you know, declare to America that this is going to happen. Um, the planning part isn't the hard part. The, the, the big step that needs to be taken is this... Uh, diving in, so to speak, announcing that it will happen and then declaring some sort of timetable that's reasonable. So I think five to seven years of transition period and uh, planning is a good fit. And then from there, we can uh, let independent clubs and the American people start to build in preparation for the open system. And as the five, six, seven year deadline draws closer, if we need to extend that out another year or two, that's totally fine. That won't be a problem. Uh, but the key is declaring that the market will be, be open with some sort of deadline timeline so that clubs can have real incentive to build towards open, open system opportunity. And that's when you'll start to see that, that equity potential come into play. These uh, 9,000 lower division U.S. soccer clubs have uh, uh, their equity being stolen from them by this uh, corrupt U.S. soccer policy, which gives the top of the marketplace division one to one single club or company, which is MLS. So once that market is open to all, you'll see the equity and value return to all clubs and people will now have the incentive, especially the big spenders, will have incentive to uh, funnel money into the lower tiers. And then people from the base of the pyramid will start new clubs and build and innovate their way up. So it really all starts with our federation. That's where this whole conversation starts and ends. Our U.S. Soccer Federation. They have ultimate say in American soccer dealings. Uh, so... What do we need to do? Do we need to root out the current leadership within U.S. soccer, USSF, the governing federation? Or do we need a new federation altogether? Uh, 
Um, and it also kind of depends on what kind of pressure FIFA is going to put on the current governing soccer federation. Is it going to force this current one to reform? Uh, is it willing to remove sanctioning from the current U.S. Soccer Federation and give it to a new alternate federation? So those are the questions that need to be asked for the future of American soccer. So uh, all conversation needs to be directed towards the U.S. Soccer Governing Federation. It's not a league decision. It's not uh, MLS's decision. It's not sponsors or advertisers decisions it's it's up to u.s soccer it's not up to the most powerful clubs in american soccer it's up to u.s soccer and yes we can have an influence as members constituents of american soccer we can make our voice heard and we are starting to right now with the movement for equality and opportunity rising in today's american soccer environment so we need to keep that going and eventually we're going to reach the tipping point where Either the current U.S. Soccer Federation will have to give in to fan demand or FIFA will come in and force U.S. Soccer to align or sanction a new federation in its place. So keep building and we're going to get there sooner or later. I'm just trying to speed up the process. So if you like this video, make sure to share it out on social media and also subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you soon.